group items are useful to quickly enter in a group of individual items that you've already set up as single items within your invoice items list. Why use group items? You can get more detailed reports, display less information or detail on the customer's invoice, and fast data entry. To create a new group item, go to Customers from the main menu at the top, Invoice Item List, right-click from within the Invoice Item List, and select New Item. Within the Type drop-down, select Group, give your group number and name, enter in a description, and click the Group tab to begin selecting the items that need to be contained within the group. Here's an example of a great group item. Light fixture. These are all the items that I need to perform service on a light fixture. The materials that I need and the labor or service item to perform the labor on this task. You can also delete any items out of the group that you do not want to use or when the item is selected on the invoice, delete the individual items not used on this task directly from the invoice. As you can see, my retail price is automatically populated based off of the retail price in the individual item I've selected within my group. For more information about group items, how they can be used, and what type of groups you should create, click the F1 button to read the help topic on group items.